What's up? You, yes, you. I'm talking to you. I want to talk about something that I don't believe any YouTuber is talking about. And I feel like it's important, very important. Ooh, I'm watching her. She's an amazing artist. Look at it. Ooh, yeah. Now, what I want to talk about today is one of those things that I don't think any YouTuber is talking about. What I want to talk about today is how hard it is. I'm pretty closer. Yeah, so you can see me properly and hear me properly. Now, I just want to talk about something. I just want to talk about how hard it is to actually be on YouTube, maintain YouTube, be consistent on YouTube. It's very hard. I'm not going to lie to you. It's very hard. It doesn't take anybody to become a vlogger. That's why it's not everyone on YouTube. But most people are actually getting out of their comfort zone and making sure that they are pulling it, brother. They are pulling it in. So, the hardest thing about being a vlogger, I have to say, is actually consistency. One. Loading videos on a regular as you're supposed to. You may make enough material, you may take enough content, but let me tell you. Hey, this wind, this wind is jealous. It doesn't want me to actually vlog properly. You know, uh, the wind is very jealous. It doesn't want me to vlog properly. But there we go. Yeah. So, one of the things that I can actually tell you is that keeping up consistency is one of the hardest things that I think any YouTuber will tell you that is the hardest thing ever. We've seen uh, one person conquering that space, which is Casey Nate Start, which did an amazing job, and some of the few YouTubers. But he was the first one to actually make us aware that, listen, if you are passionate about this thing, if you are serious about this thing, you can actually do it. You can actually live your life as you're living your life and actually just giving it. And he was doing an excellent job at it because he wasn't just uh, taking a video and uploading it. It was editing involved in there. It was great scenes involved in there there was storylines involved in there it was like his basic life actually but then at the same time he was doing it at a very great level so how does one actually get to that level i don't know man i don't know i tried i failed i tried you know i tried it a couple of times i tried i tried vlogging for like consistency for like days you know I, I, one time i thought to myself i was going to vlog for a whole month just one month Continuously, even if I didn't have to edit the videos to such a great length, but I just wanted to vlog, just vlog and, and make great content and just upload them daily, you know. That was one of the hardest things ever. And I found myself uploading three videos and after that I couldn't even edit the fourth one and I found myself that no, this is really hard. So, consistency is one of things that may actually kill some of the new YouTubers who are actually trying to get on board because let me tell you, if you don't have the passion for it, it's going to die along the way. Do not try to get to YouTube because of the money that you see top YouTubers are earning. Let me tell you, those guys invested years into this thing. They have actually put in years into this thing. They have actually worked hard for them to be where they are today. So, they have actually worked for those 10 million subscribers. So, if you do a great job, if you work at it, then you will get to that level. Hard work. Hard work create new content edit your material properly learn every day what others what's working for others perhaps you can take that and drag it into yours and make sure that uh it works for you number two wrong reasons like i said um you know most most, most let me tell you when i when i started on youtube i just wanted to explore the the feature whereby i can just upload my videos you know and let me just not use this for now. And I found that it was fun. I just wanted to do it for fun. For no reason, for fun. I just wanted to be on YouTube. And, and yeah. But doing it constant, like constantly, I found that I, I, couldn't, I couldn't at some point. I just didn't have the good motivation. Then I realized that, oh, actually, there's what something called AdSense, where you can actually make a bit of money from advertisements. It's like, oh yeah, great, this is great. And then I research more and more and more. And then as, the, as the years go by, maybe I realize that, oh, people are actually killing it out here. So, you know, I actually started with the wrong reasons. And uh, now I'm back. I'm not gonna lie, I'm back. My plane just fell. Just gotta pick it up. You know, um, as I was saying that, you know, I was doing it for the wrong reasons. And now that I 
I've learned those lessons and now I know what's right and what's wrong. I've seen what goes wrong and what goes right if you're doing things for the wrong reasons. Now I've learned my lesson. I've seen that you shouldn't do this thing because you're aiming for something. You should, yes, push your content. Make sure that you have good content out there and uh, people are interested in it. On that note, please subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to also build my channel to a bigger audience so that I can be back here. I need you to actually press that like button. See it down there? Yeah, press it. So, um, there's a lot of things that actually goes into play when, when, when you're actually starting out with YouTube. With that being said, you just have to put more content. I, talk about, I spoke about two things. I spoke about consistency. I spoke about doing YouTube for the wrong reasons. Number three, storylines. Yeah. Listen, if you don't have a good storyline, if you're not an entertainer, I don't think you want to cut into in this industry. People are looking for something which is not going to bore them along the lines. So you're not going to earn a su someone subscribe, subscribe just by being an ordinary person. You have to be something unique. You have to bring them something they haven't experienced before, something they're not familiar with. Then they will fuck with you. You know, and... I, I feel that that's it you know uh, consistency editing you have to learn how to edit learn how to edit your content you can't just post videos without with just a caption it's like oh, hey guys uh, this is my content learn how to edit you know give people good quality material all the time make sure that you upload things that people would want to come back and look at at all times it will work for you because it has worked for a lot of people so um the other one would for me be what's the hardest thing oh vlogging in public <laughs> oh god the way i would love to give some people a glimpse of my travel tours and so forth i have done that on my other channel called craig Haynes. follow that the link is on the, the link is down there below you know um it's it's kind of it's kind of it's weird you know because i don't think people are actually all of them in has transcended to that level whereby they understand what youtubers do or youtube what youtubers are so sometimes it feels a bit weird whereby you are going around in a public area like a mall and you're carrying a camera to your face you know doing taking videos of yourself it looks a bit weird but let me tell you <laughs> that's one of the hardest things ever for me to actually vlog in public and if you can do it you can do it go for it I'm encouraging it. It's one of the great things. We want to see how you live out there. We want to see what you get up to. We want to see all the content that you guys get up to and all the things, nice things that you guys do. On that note, and on that being said, I don't have much to say. All I was, I just wanted to say was that I, I think, I think for me, those are the few things that are actually making it hard to actually constantly be on YouTube one to vlog constantly two to actually create good content three the right reasons for some of you while you're here because you, some of you are giving us whack 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 material but hey it's your channel it's it's it's, it's you're not being crucified for it it's good content anyways at the end of the day um and what and vlogging in public i feel like those are the reasons for me that are making it hard and having have time to my hands because i have a newborn kid yes i have a channel with my wife where i cover most of my family and all those things but having have to vlog on myself and other things that i would like to cover on the channel it's a bit hard it's a bit it's very very hard for me to actually do that uh, because time is really important like right now as you see me giving you this vlog just know that i just i just i just i was just enabled a few minutes a few a few minutes to myself you know with that being said a few minutes i'm talking about because my family is not here right now they went to church which is good um i'm happy not that i won't go to church i pray god all the time just that today i just didn't feel like going to church. i felt like cleaning the crib you know cooking lunch for them brunch good things yeah but i guess that those are my reasons why I, it's so hard for me to shoot a vlog i fail to keep consistency sometimes i don't have good content to upload um I can't vlog in public 
and sometimes I lack time because I also have a nine to five as a new kid, which is a three this is three months here, yeah, three months old and um yeah man, it's it's very consuming. There's a video that I uploaded which is talking about being a dad and its constraints. Check that out where I talk about being a dad. But except those YouTube is funny man. Be here for the right reasons. Cause some of us are, you know. Shout out to Mr. Beast. I saw your video, man, giving a um much love to 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 to, to other YouTubers. Thanks, man. And I saw the other one that you did with YouTube, where you're encouraging us to do more content. You know, you're encouraging us to do more content. You're actually telling us how to do it and how to do it properly, and we really appreciate it so much. So, from me to you guys, I don't have much to say anymore. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stop talking crap now. So, yeah. Adios. You know, I think I've done. I'm, I'm done talking. Whatever I need to talk about. So, I'm out.